So how to not become overwhelmed. I'm not gonna force myself to do it. Plants are more resilient than we think. Hey guys, so I just wanted to be just more a little bit, I guess, candid and just real. I have gotten several comments um, and basically asking like, um, how do I not become like so overwhelmed with having um, a lot of plants? Um, just basically like, how do I do it? And honestly, I mean, with everyone, all plant collectors, everyone who loves plants. I mean, we do have other things in life, um, full-time jobs, family, I mean, animals to care for, and just other aspects of our lives, including plants. And those times it can become, and it does become overwhelming to where you don't even wanna deal with your plants. And that's, well, for me, my personal experience. And so just to put it into perspective, I just got back from my Mexico trips, my Mexico trip two weeks ago. And I haven't done any, really done anything to my plants at all, which is why also I'm doing this video because I do have a lot of house plant chores to do. I've only watered plants here and there to where they were super droopy. And I was like, okay, let me water you. But other than that, I have some plants that um, I still have my Aglonema, the one I did a few videos back, to where she had mealy bugs. Hey, I still need to um, treat her again. I haven't dealt with her. There's plants that are extremely droopy, plants that are, that are extremely dry, and just a lot of plants that need my attention. However, yeah, it's been almost two weeks since I got there. I haven't done any plant things. Why? Well, because life happens. I do have a full-time job and it's been crazy busy, which is good. And so I don't always feel like wanting to come back home and work more to tend to my plants. So, I mean, things happen and you'll see, I'm going to show you all my plants that have been unfortunately neglected, but they're not, um, dying thankfully but they're just looking rough but how to not become overwhelmed honestly whenever i'm in a state of work or just personal life and i'm just just not feeling it i don't do anything i mean that may sound crazy but it's as simple as that if i'm not in the mood to do anything plant related i'm not going to force myself to do it at first when i started getting into plants um almost three years ago whenever I saw a dead leaf or I saw a plant that was extremely dry I was like oh my gosh I need to hurry up like I dropped whatever I was doing stopped whatever I was doing and I went ahead to water it or to tend to it I was like oh my gosh I don't want anything to happen but then now since I have been doing this for a while plants are more resilient than we think and whenever something's going on with a plant but I'm already overwhelmed with other circumstances, other things happening in my life. I just don't do it. And the more I don't do it, I don't force myself to do it. I feel more just relieved. I do not get overwhelmed. Usually in the mornings and evenings, I always literally just stand in my plant room. I look at everything. I'm in awe of it. And then, but then I'm also looking at what needs to be done. Um, if I'm in, in the mood, I'll go ahead and tend to those things. But if I'm not, I just make mental note of it. I don't stress about it. I guess that's what I'm really trying to say. I just don't stress over it. I don't think, I don't overthink it. 
and the more that I do, I haven't been overwhelmed with my plants in quite a long time because I told myself the beginning of my plant journey, I don't want this to become something that's expensive. I don't want this to become something that is too overwhelming for me. The more as I, you know, start collecting the plants, I want it to be something that is fun, something that brings me joy. And with that being said, my joy and happiness comes from not being stressed. And so if something needs to be done, but I'm not feeling it. I just don't do it. And I have to continuously do that because I have, I need to count my plants, but I know I have almost 100, maybe over 100 and it can become overwhelming. So it's been two weeks and now I'm not as drowned in work and so I can tend to them and I hope that this may help someone who does feel overwhelmed or who or maybe you haven't gotten a lot of plants because you know that you will feel overwhelmed and just don't want to have that burden but I hope that this can help someone so okay enough of my rambling. So I was sent these beautiful gold planters from a storefront on Amazon called Jafami. These are absolutely beautiful and you can save 10% by using my code Janae10P.
Thank you.